Howdy, Paul Anastasio here in the interminable Western Swing workshop videos. We're going to tackle a tune that Bob Wills band really liked to play. It's actually, uh, Johnny Lee Wills had the big hit on it, Milk Cow Blues, written by the blues man Kokomo Arnold. I keep wishing I can find Kokomo's version, but I haven't heard heard a version of him doing it. But all the Wills guys do it. Johnny Gimble would play it. Uh, Sleep at the Wheel, I'm sure, did it. So we'll go ahead and I'll play it along and then I will talk a little bit about some things that I can do to jazz it up. Because you already have me and Albany playing it together. This is going to be us, uh, I mean this is going to be me toying with the melody a little bit. You know, we have a verbatim version on another video. Alright, this is the Milk Cow Blues. some blue notes. One thing we did in there that was, uh, I kind of overused it, but the idea is that we've got, um, the bl there are three blue notes, generally, what are generally called blue notes. The third of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, and then the flat seven. And blues players, take advantage of that a lot. They, uh, it gives you, a, obviously, a bluesy kind of a feel. And if any of you guys are used to playing fiddle tunes, you're pr probably already sliding into some of these notes, you know. But those, those are notes that you can use. Uh, towards the end of that milk cow blues, I ended up doing a uh, little movement up and down the scale. Some instructional methods and some teachers f show you that you can enforce the minor pentatonic scale, which is this. And some blues players actually do that. They don't even change the scale when it goes from A, the one chord in the key of A anyway, to D, the four chord, and E, the five chord. The problem is that it starts to sound limited. Somebody like B.B. King isn't just going to go play So we'll try it one more time with, with Albany, and um, I'll do a little bit of... I'll show you, first of all, what it sounds like to force that minor pentatonic. That's, let me just explain. That's the root, the flat third, the fourth, the fifth, and the 
flat seven scale in your east. Now sometimes they'll make it into a blues and they'll add another note. So here's your, here's your textbook minor pentatonic scale. But when it goes to D, you don't move to the D minor pentatonic, you just stick around in the A minor pentatonic. And you'll hear what it sounds like. I'll try to do it musically, but um, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's very limited. So we'll try it anyway. We'll start from the top. Anyway, um, the minor pentatonic is... third, which is not in the minor pentatonic scale, so I add that in. I add this. pentatonic that you run into is the major pentatonic. That's a five note scale, hence the penta in pentatonic. Root. Major pentatonic is this. Root. Third. I'm sorry. What am I? I'm sorry, it's this. Root. Second. Third. Fifth. Sixth. Root. I'm not used to handicapping myself, or not letting myself play whatever I think. Good, bad, or ugly. But major pentatonic is root, second, third, fifth, sixth. You hear it all the time. It's all the safe notes. It's the root, the third, the fifth, with the second, and the sixth. It's another possibility, but I, I just mix them all up. So one minute I'm playing. Next minute I'm playing. So I don't want to limit myself. So I'm going to do, um, let's do one more round of this milk cow blues. And I'll just kind of horse around and try some different things. Try to make it sound good. Um, this this uh, version, the way it's written down here, I put the, put the lyrics in and when you try on an instrument to kind of mimic exactly the way a vocalist sings it often sounds kind of stilted I think the version I recorded with Albany sort of sounded that way so I'm just going to kind of ignore that and just play, try to play some actual music if I can all right this is the milk cow
proper name. This is some of the things that you can do, and as I said in some of the other videos, you'll get sick of hearing me say it because I say it ad nauseum. I want to know two things. I want to know what chord is being played. If it's an A chord, I'd pretty much better know that this is the root, the third, the fifth, the root, the third, the fifth root. No less an authority than Joe Venuti, who I was lucky to study with in 1977, in little into 78, I think. Um, he said, you have to know chords. Improvise over the basic chords in the tune. Which, if a guitar player is doing some movement for just one beat or something, you're not necessarily going to follow everything that they do. But you are going to build are going to build your solo around the chords, the basic chords to the tune. So I want to know two things. I want to know what chord is being played, and I want to know what scale degree I'm playing against that chord. If I'm playing a chord tone, like in A, it's this. Uh, that's good. There's some other notes in the in the A major scale that sound kind of okay. The second, the fourth, the sixth, and the major seventh. But again, you want to put some of that in and end up on a happy ending. You go falling off a cliff there. Well, Anyway, we'll get this, this in some other videos, so we'll see you next video. Oh, and uh, get in touch with me via email, and I'll get you finale files and PDF files for the basic melodies, too. Oh, that's closing in on 15 tunes now, so if you'd like to see them, they'll have the chords written in, and, and uh, might be a good instructional tool. So, see you next video.